All right, what's up, y'all? So lately, I've been thinking life is just getting extremely interesting. So I figured I'd pick up the camera and start filming again. And what better way to start a video nailing out a Murph on Memorial Day? The guys and I are gonna crush the Murph. 7 a.m. on Memorial Day. And then we'll hit a coffee shop to get work done. It's going to be insane weekend. We got his wedding, which probably will be in this video. Stay tuned. Let's get it. I'm about to put you on to my daily breakfast. It is nutrient dense, tastes delicious. I call it omelet max. Arms are wide open. I'm calling out. Alright, the key to a perfect omelet is the spatula. You want a rubber spatula, and the key is to put on the eggs, let it cook, and then move it around so that the uncooked eggs move to the bottom. Once you have it fully cooked, then you flip. If you do a flip too early, you will mess it up. Very key. I've been doing this by every day for the last 60 days, and I've mastered omelet making. Now we flip. Boom. Nice and half. Perfectly cooked. And there we go. Almond maxing every single day. If you have no idea who I am, who you're watching, my name is Patrick Griscoll. I'm the co-founder of Visionary Group, and we help e-commerce brands scale. I've been doing this for three years now. I figured I'd talk about exactly what I do because I just got over a brief from Zach, who's my partner, who basically has a summary of what our clients are trying to achieve in the next six months. Um, basically, this is a sports nutrition brand, and they're saying, hey, we need to spend $50,000 a month on ads. How would you deploy that money? So my team will say, okay, you wanna spend $50,000, $100,000 on ads. What's the most profitable strategy to deploy that fifty dollars to $100,000 a month on ads so it can be profitable? So if you've ever been on Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, TikTok, and you've seen an ad, that's what I do, right? I run those ads for companies and we do it at an extremely high level, uh, spending you know hundreds and hundreds of thousands, we've done millions a month on ads across all our client accounts. Uh, we scale fitness brands, that's what we do, that's what we're known for. So a lot of stuff that we do is under wraps, but over the next, I feel like six months, we're going to a lot of events, we're gonna be traveling, we're gonna be seeing a lot of cool people. I'm just really excited for what the future holds. Uh, we have Zach's wedding this week, I just got engaged, business is scaling, I'm excited to bring you guys along, I'm gonna share my business insights, my the raw reality of scaling, an e-commerce growth agency, uh, how I've been able to do it at the age of 24 now, I just turned 24. Right now I'm gonna look over this brief, work on a strategy on how I'm gonna deploy $50,000 a month for this brand and how I'm gonna scale their spend up to that because I'm personally responsible for this ad account and get some deep work done. I'm gonna crack open another C4 for Smart Energy. sample where they just get a code to get redeem it. I think the main thing for us to just be helpful is just like one of the main things that whoever this team needs to see and really wants to see on a daily, weekly, monthly basis. Tuesdays are meeting days. Team meetings, client meetings, discovery calls, sales calls, long day of meetings. So I got up uh, this morning, jumped into a bunch of calls, didn't get a lot of deep work done that I wanted to. But one thing that did happen, which I'm excited about, is this right here, which is Gary Vee's new book, Day Trading Attention, how to actually build brand and sales in the new social media world. Uh, very excited to dive into this. I think it'll be very relevant. So I'm probably gonna go get started on this very soon. But one thing I've been wrestling with in my mind that I wanna document on this channel, scaling to scale is not good. So uh, lately we've made a lot of drastic changes. The last 30, 60 days, we cut literally our expenses in half. So we're super profitable and we're still growing because we're focusing on the best, highest quality clients, bringing them in the door, having massive upside with them, just doing an excellent job by myself, my two partners, Ken and Zach, Xavier, Rob, and then a few freelancers here and there to help service the client. 
typically with an agency, what I was always told when I was learning how to run this business is that you, you know, sell a client and you want to have a specialist and you want to keep selling, sell, 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 sell. And a lot of the complaints that I've found with my target customers and target clients I want to work with is that they're so sick of the corporate agency. You dish off to a junior team member, run their ads, etc. My food is ready. I need to go get that. So what I was saying was basically I would be scaling super hard and need to hire and also scale at the same time. So I'd get new people in the door to hire and then new people in the door to serve. And that just, I just didn't like that model. And it was unnecessary because I had two partners and Zach was like, we should just cut a lot of our expenses. I was like, this is music to my ears. And so now we operate a super lean growth partner model where it's really our core team servicing all of our clients. And I'm back really focused on service delivery, which I've actually been loving. I've been loving scaling campaigns, being in ad accounts, working with Canon to develop creative ideas and build relationships with my clients. And I've loved it. So now for the rest of the year, we're still growing, which is crazy. We're gonna have our best month ever next month. While not really trying to sell to sell, we only are looking for the highest quality clients. And if you're watching this and you've, you have an e-commerce brand that's doing over $30,000, $50,000 a month, you'd like to apply to work with us, you could definitely do so down in the description. But overall, I'm just really excited of where we're at. We're going to grow, we're not scaling to scale because revenue feeds the ego and profit feeds your family, which is what Bader's Killian says. No, this is great. I uh, this call will be pretty much just diving deep into strategy. Candidly, I think the your your goals can be smashed out of the park, uh, given you've already you know you've already tapped into ads. You see the potential. To the All right, so it's Thursday now, and we just brought on a client for forty five hundred dollars, five hundred dollar initial deposit. Basically, what we do on the sales call, I get the credit card information, run the card for five hundred, bill them the rest. New client in the door, actually a very high profile client, has over a million followers on social media. There's just so much potential uh, because it's a creator that has a big audience but doesn't know how to monetize and we know how to monetize. And when you have the audience, it makes everything easier, so. It is wedding day, Zach is getting- You think they can hear you? Yes, are you kidding? It's wedding day, Saturday. Zach is getting married today. Abby's behind the camera. She's looking beautiful. And now it's time to hit the church. So we got Catholic church ceremony, and then we're throwing down at a farmhouse vibe at 6 p.m. But first, let's get this guy married. You know how to calm me down. 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 You